like debrief and maybe like you know what's to come yeah okay so we're currently in spring break super fun um this year, this year we're traveling which we haven't always done in the past which is really fun to kind of like team bond and be together so we're looking forward to that um we have a big 10 matchup another one coming up on friday penn state and then we travel to chapel hill to play unc so um, we're really focusing on Penn State right now. Um, Big Ten play is obviously super important, and the Big Ten is killing it right now. So um, we take these games really seriously, and we're just competing really hard at practice and ready to take on Penn State on Friday. And then when you were kind of deciding to you know, come back for your fifth yeah. year, um, you know, just kind of bring me back to that a little bit, and then... You know, has it kind of been what you thought it would yeah. be? Yeah. Um, so my decision was really based on um, my, the, pe the other people coming back as well because obviously, like, this team, I love this team, people on this team, my best friends, um, and a couple other girls in our class who are coming back. So that was a big deciding factor for me, um, one extra year to be with them. Um, to double on that, Kira also got a position here on staff, so it was kind of like the best of both worlds. I could still be with my twin sister, Kira, and be with some of my best friends. So that was a big part of my decision. Um, and then honestly, like at the national championship last year, it was amazing, but I just didn't feel like I was ready to be done. I just had that feeling that, like this isn't over yet. Um, and so I decided to come back. It's definitely, um, it's been more challenging than I was expecting. Um, I think like mentally and emotionally, um, just with being in grad school as well, it was a lot more than I was expecting, but it's been great so far. Um, I love my program. Um, and it's honestly had a different feel this year, but in a good way. Um, and I don't know if it's because I'm, I feel that much older or because it's, I'm in grad school, but um, it's a different vibe, but a good vibe. Um, and I've loved it. It's been so much fun so far and still have, half the season left to go, so I'm excited. And then talk about having Kira, you know, in that different role. You yeah. Know, typically, you know, your teammate for yeah. your entire life. What's it like having her on staff and, like, seeing her doing her thing on the bus? Yeah. Meals, all that stuff? Um, well, she's doing really well. She's honestly, like, perfect for this role, um, and she's killing it. She's super organized, um, very detail-oriented, so it's perfect for this role, and she's actually done an amazing job. Um, and I think her having the player perspective has really helped. Um, I know other girls on the team kind of agree that like she, she gets it. She knows what we want, um, what things we like, what things we don't like. So that's really helped her in this role. And so she's done an amazing job. It's definitely different because there's, there's certain things that like we can't talk about obviously with me being on the team and her being on staff. But at the end of the day, like she's still my sister. We can still hang out. We can still go to, go to dinner together. She comes over like once a week to do laundry at my apartment. So um, we still obviously are sisters and can still be together as much as possible. Um, but it's just been really cool to have her on the sideline in a different realm um, and to still be kind of like going on this ride together has been really cool. And then just talk about the defensive side of the ball a little bit, the group you're a part of. I mean, we take so much pride in our defense here at Northwestern. Um, and so I mean, I am so proud to be a part of that group, um, but we have new players, we have new girls, um, just a little different chemistries um, than last year. So coming in, it was just not a rebuilding, but a more um, relearning about people's strengths and weaknesses and these newcomers, like what do they like to do? What, what can they do on the field? So um, I think just relearning is the best way to, the best way to state it. Um, Again, we take so much pride in our defense and we're such a cohesive group. We love each other. Um, we kind of call ourselves like misfits and we think that's like such a great way to put it. Um, but I mean, we're gritty. We just absolutely love the process um, and have really like taken pride and ownership of the process. And we know it's a long season. And I think we're just ready for whatever comes our way. Um, and we've been practicing that in, in practice. We've been competing hard, gritty, you know, we're just, we love the challenge and we're ready for it, so. State of the Lake Show, I think, you know, it's 
almost halfway or more than halfway through our regular season and at this point of the season I feel like it doesn't feel like that it still feels like we're just getting started um, so people are still just so excited for every single game and for every single practice I feel like we have really good energy and a lot of competing um, a lot of competing every single day so it's been super fun I think right now since it's spring break we have a lot of extra time that we're um, spending all together and it's really good for our team chemistry and it just can we just continue to have more and more fun um, every single day and every single game because we're learning how to play with each other even more and learning how to be with each other all the time so yeah <laughs> and then coming into your sophomore year um, having a year under your belt what's that kind of like to you know have younger girls underneath you that you can kind of you know, mentor a little bit and then still have older girls to, you know, get that wisdom from. Yeah. Like. I feel like it's kind of crazy because a lot of our older girls from my freshman year are still here. So I still feel like the youngest sometimes, but then I look over and there is somebody new next to me and all of our freshmen or first years are so amazing and nice. And so it's been a really seamless transition. I feel like um, just being able, to, they're all like very curious and ask a lot of questions, which is, which is exactly um, what we need and exactly who I want to be as a sophomore, someone who, um, people want to come and ask questions too. So I feel like it's been really good. And having all the older girls still here is also still so fun because there's still such chemistry from last year that we can see in every single practice. And with every pass made on the field, you know that there's like a strong connection from years being built. Um, so it's just really cool to see. And then uh, what what is life like off the lacrosse field right now for Lucy Monroe? Is a student at Northwestern? Well, it is spring break, so I feel like I've been a little more leisurely this past week. I'm so happy that this past quarter is over. I feel like a lot of girls on the team all agree that this past winter quarter was like one of our hardest quarters um, like ever, so I don't know why that is, but it's over now. I'm really excited for spring. Um, other than that, I'm headed to the mall today with some girls. I'm starting a new series on Netflix. I'm really just embracing this uh, spring break leisurely life, I feel like, off the field right now. <laughs> and then setting up for a long road trip here, what, uh, you know, what's kind of life like on the road with the Lake Show? What are some of your favorite uh, parts of traveling with the team? Well, this year, Maddie Taylor is my roommate, so I'm having such a good time with her. We have a lot of activities planned since this is such a long road trip. We're bringing Uno, regular cards, I download the Heads Up game, I'm bringing, we're bringing a book, or I'm bringing a book, uh, face masks, you name it, me and Maddie T have it, the whole setup in our room, so there's gonna be a lot of that, like fun little games hanging around. Um, again, a lot of card games in the lobby with everybody, and um, yeah, I feel like away trips, the days kind of fly by because they keep our schedule, like, like we always have something, it's not a lot, but it's like meeting, food, like hang out, I don't know. I feel like we're just together so much that the days fly by. So I'm super excited to get to Penn State and then some warm weather down in North Carolina. <laughs> and then back on the field, um, you know, for you on the offensive side of the ball, um, you know, whether you're on the field or watching from the bench, you know, what are the things that make the offense click? you know, when everything's, um, you know, on the right path? I think everything's on the right path when we really embrace, like, our own strength, like, each individual's own strength, because obviously we have, like, some incredible top Dodgers, like Izzy on the, or Izzy and Maddie Taylor on the field, so if everybody can utilize the, that dodging, but then also at the same time we have people who are amazing cutters, people who are amazing at two-man game, and, like, once all of that blends together and we have a perfect mix of all the dodging, all the two-man game, all the cutting, all the swinging behind, and everything like that, I think that's when our offense looks the best.